Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm sure this is uh, very difficult to find. 2005 Dahatsu Gino. These are getting harder to find. I don't know why, but uh, it's got uh, almost 97,000 kilometers on it, which is about 60,000 miles. And before we go any further, I'd just like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you see on the website will not be the final price here, okay? Uh, so let's take a look around. We'll show the features inside, but first I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. Things like the uh, the JCI, the warranty, the road tax, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end, you'll have all the answers. If not, go in and contact me or stop on by. This Mita Gino is a, um, the Hazard Gino is a four passenger vehicle in the yellow plate category. So the smallest category. Road tax per year is gonna be thirty uh, about 3,000 yen, which is actually about 25 bucks right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. And these you have to pay at the city office. So we'll take care of it for you this year, and then it's up to you next year. And like I said, city office, it's just in a different category. Now you do have two ways to pay for it. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount, not a guarantee, but we'll definitely do what we can. Or you can take advantage of 0% finance of 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you wanna put something down to reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000, some do even more. Before we go inside, we'd like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not gonna get wet inside. More important feature benefit is gonna give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. And this, you can see it comes to a 90 degree angle. It's, it's a really easy uh, car to get into. All right, let's uh, get this baby started. All righty, let's turn this radio off. All right, 96,663 on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights. Obviously, that one right there is your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelt so you get tickets on and off base. And then that one over there is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. I know it looks similar, but it's a hand type. So when you disengage, it goes away. Engage, it comes right back on. Uh, other than that, uh, oh, I'm sorry, this one over here, uh, that is your, um, your temperature gauge. So it's gonna be green, light green when the edge is cool. It'll go away when the edge is uh, cool, or when, I'm sorry, when the edge is warmed up, it's gonna go away. And then you can see the silhouette of the H and the thermostat. Uh, that's gonna be uh, when it's overheating, it'll be red, okay? And you see some of the other silhouettes of the other uh, warning lights. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over and find out what it is, take the necessary action, all right? All right, so off to the left here, you do have a little compartment for some storage, uh, radio, air conditioning controls, uh, a non-smoking ashtray, and then a power outlet right there. Above the glove box, you have this really small um, uh, area for some storage again. Be careful how you how much you push this up. You don't want to break it, a lot of people do. And then you have your glove box itself, all right? And then a little compartment here for a little bit of storage. I don't know, what is that, a switchblade or something? Oh, that looks like a door handle, all right? Um, but again, a little more storage. Then a little storage on each door panel. You do have cup holders on each uh, side here, underneath the vent on each side. Let's go to passenger space. That's your passenger space over there. You got your red rope flare hanging out. And then this is the space I have on my side. Oh, wow. Now the seat's all the way back. Was the seat all the way back? Oh, no. All right, so the IM 511, as everybody loves knowing. Um, yeah, I would drive as is. I mean, I could actually slide this up an inch or two and still be comfortable driving. And then you have your little mini um, uh, armrest here that I forgot about. And then down here, you do have a little space, maybe for some coins, your shifter, and then the uh, handbrake, as I told you about, okay? So I think that's it, except let's go eye level. I'm not forgetting anything. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers, like on most vehicles. Even though this is a small car, you can't. Now, normally this time, I show you the auction sheet showing that it's a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Many dealers can't say that. We can, all right? Um, but because it just came in, I keep those inside until it's been detailed. Once it's been detailed, I'm gonna put it up here on, oh, oh this is a uh, hottie. This is in detail and it's already here. So fortunately I get to show you already, all right? So this was a, a 3.5 uh, grade with a C and C on the exterior interior. So it's a pretty good grade for a 2005, okay? And like I said, we're gonna keep these in here. I don't know why this is in here now because it's not detailed, but it'll be up here on the sun, uh, sun visor on the driver's side, okay? So let's turn this baby off. Let's go to the back seat. But let's show you just a couple things first. Uh, you do have your um, mirror controls on the right side of the dash. Little uh, pocket here. Well, this one, you know, has uh, some uh, tissues there. You can put coins there. And then over here, you do have your uh, hood release, okay? And I feel like I'm still forgetting something, but I don't think so. All right, so let's go to the back here. Looks like it has factory tint on the back windows too. This will also open up to a 90 degree angle. All right, 
this is the mini light edition so it's got these funky uh checkered uh floor mats here all right and with the seat all the way back all the way down i'm still an inch away from the back of the seat to my knees uh nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat but you do a pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat and you see how this is somebody probably had something that was too big and now it's it's uh, kind of dented like that just be careful what you put in there especially you don't want to rip the uh, uh the sides there and then you have cup holder and a little bit of storage on each door panel uh no armrest or anything um yeah that's it just no armrest i feel like i forget it something go back here i don't know what it is all right and there's your space back here you can uh take this privacy uh cover out if you have to haul stuff because you pull up on each tab at the same time and this thing will go uh forward so you have all that space open maybe it was the yeah, it was a uh, gas cover release. I forgot the gas cover release. Where is that gas cover release? It's actually nowhere right there. Where is that gas cover release? Oh, here it is. Underneath here. So underneath this little uh, uh, compartment here, you do have your gas cover release. So please don't forget that. I knew I've, I was forgetting something. All right, but let's go to the uh, engine compartment and wrap this video up. And it does have the mini light um, um, aluminum wheels. These are expensive. They're an expensive little, uh, uh, it's an expensive little package. And there you go, you got this massive powerhouse here. 660 cc engine, which will be clean during the uh, detailing process. Why is that not focusing? I don't know. Why is that focusing? That's gonna bother me. All right, so there you have it. 2005, well, what's wrong with this thing? 2005 Dahatu Gino. Why is that not focusing? Come on. There you go. All right. Uh, what I say? Uh, 90, almost 97,000 kilometers on it, which is 60,000 miles. Military price goes down to 4,400 with additional military discount. We'll get it down to 4,200. Again, and while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts. All right, and then we'll get you a lower price. But for now, the 4,200 is going to include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper warranty. Uh, I'll put a little asterisk there. I'll come back to that. The 2022 road tax and the 10% sales tax is already included. The only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, where they're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Going back to the warranty, yes, we do have a one-year warranty. Uh, there are some places that have two-year warranties. But I'm going to tell you right now, they're not uh, the best thing since sliced bread. So definitely stop on by, and we'll uh, tell you why. Um... But also, we also encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, uh, go out to the Lemon Lot, see what they have. But definitely stop by John Deasy's Cars. Let us know what we have and what our program's all about and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference because we are different. Stop on by, we'll show you why, just like we have many others. Uh, don't forget two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash outright or take advantage of 0% finance for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.